Hi, I'm Amy Mason, and I'm an access technology specialist with the Lighthouse for the Blind here in San Francisco. And I am here to tell you about why I am so excited for the opening of the public domain this year. Very simply, when the past is accessible, the future is too. Let me show you a few ways. <laughs> Um, well, actually, let's talk about it real quick. The public domain is providing access for creators to inspiration. Scholars are gaining access to history. Students gaining access to what might otherwise be lost knowledge. And people with disabilities may be, for the first time, gaining access to the information in public domain materials. For instance, when we look at access to books, one of the, shall we say, granddaddies of internet culture and accessibility and public domain is Project Gutenberg, which has digitized in text format many, many famous public domain works. And the thing about text format that's so cool, electronic text, as long as it's actually text and not just pictures of the words or pictures of the book's pages, I, as a blind user, have a ton of choices for how I can use that information. I could choose to magnify the text. I could read it with the screen reader on my phone or on my computer. But it gets more fun than that through services like Bookshare, I can translate that text into uh, the Braille code and either emboss it so that I have a quote unquote printed Braille book, or I can run it through and load it onto a Braille display that will allow me to actually read it electronically, but in Braille. And finally, because of our friends at LibriVox, I can also choose to listen to others who love these books as much as I, I do, read them as audiobooks, free and open to us all because these materials are now accessible to everyone in the public domain. But that's not all. I'm also excited because art is amazing. Images are beautiful. But not all of us get to appreciate um, visual medium of paintings and drawings, sketches, and photographs. Though there is a company, 3D Photo Works, who have really done an amazing job, and it's one of several, our own media and, oh dear, <laughs> Media Accessibility and Design Lab also has been doing some fantastic work, though today I'm going to showcase um, 3D photo work simply because they're shiny. And they really perfected their work on famous public domain works. So here's a quick video demo for you. To assist the blind in creating a mental picture, 3D tactile photographic prints are embedded with sensors throughout the art. When a sensor is activated by touch, a custom audio track provides detailed information about that specific area of the art. Audio theater incorporates descriptions and effects that cause the viewer to feel as if they are a participant in the art. Here, in Eastman Johnson's version of George Washington crossing the Delaware, there are 27 sensors embedded. Three sensors provide background information on the history of the event, the artist, and the painting. 24 additional sensors provide detailed information about the people and the crossing. 
Here is one example. The flag depicted here and being held by future President James Monroe is the original flag of the United States, the design of which did not exist at the time of Washington's crossing. This flag's design was specified in June 1777 and flew for the first time on September 3rd, 1777, well after Washington's crossing in 1776. The historically accurate flag would have been the Grand Union flag, officially hoisted by Washington himself on January 1st, 1776. And finally, as was mentioned earlier, access to the silent era of film is going to now be something that I hope to dive into. Because here's the thing. I have had a bit of a sad moment here and there today because I wanted to know what everyone was laughing at. And honestly, for me, some of the video clips were kind of like this. Uh, this you describe platform is going to, I'm going to give you a quick demo of this as well to show you exactly how it changes when we have the ability to rework these public domain pieces. So first, here's my experience today. the experience with volunteer described video. Betty Boop is rolling dough on the table. The fly lands on the dough and Betty Boop rolls the dough with the fly in it. <laughs> Trying to catch the fly, the dog jumps onto the dough and becomes stuck. <laughs> Getting away, the fly lands on a portrait of a bald man. Pull that pole. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, as a uh, admitted animation buff, I'm real excited by this. So, all in all, I really just wanted to encourage you all to think creatively about all the amazing ways the public domain can be used to bring access to those who've never had it before. And I wanted to provide you with resources to the uh, sites that I have mentioned and the projects. So there are links to Bookshare, LibriVox, Project Gutenberg, and um, you describe and 3D Photo Works information. And finally, if you have further questions about accessibility that we can, I can point you at resources or that we at the Lighthouse can um, possibly help with designing new projects that are going to make a big difference. We have contact information at the end. I wanted to thank you all so much for letting me be here and share this with you and just geek out a little. <laughs>